So this is your last call. If you guys don't know, we usually look at 801, Banshee, Eververse, and Xur. Not in that order, but almost in that order. And we're going to be looking at 801 first, then Banshee, then Xur, and then Eververse to close it. So if you guys like the video, like, comment, subscribe. Remember that I usually do these within the week, the beginning of the week, I should say, specifically for 801 and Eververse. Those two are usually the ones that I do in the beginning of the week. So let me know what you guys think. Other than that, let's look at some shaders. So Valkyrie Zero is the shader that we're going to be looking at first. I like the shader a lot. I know it doesn't look good with this, but if you combine it with certain armor pieces, it looks amazing because all you will see is the red and black. Just be aware that the orange is really, really gross and there is a white, even though that's rarely ever there. But with this armor set, it's right there. We have Tangled Rust, which is a good shader. This is definitely one uh, one of the best shaders in the game and I know it's like well this looks kind of boring but when it comes to like decrepit look at armor pieces it looks amazing and I've started to utilize this shader a lot more now since it is really good and then we have new monarchy succession which is not the orange one it's the red one the other red one I should say this is from uh curse of Osiris I actually like this shader quite a bit uh I don't use it a lot but I like the gold and the red I think the red is such a good red but yeah, let me know what you guys think. As for the armor set, it's going to be the Fallen pieces from Destiny 1. I definitely think the Hunters have a lot of good pieces. I think the helmet is really cool. Honestly, everything is really good except the chest piece. The chest piece, the stomach. In the weekly video, I said it doesn't change color. It actually does change color. It just changes color really terribly. For the Titans, I think everything but the helmet and the chest piece are pretty bad. I don't like the arms. I mean... I kind of like the arms, but they're so different from each other that it's sometimes I'm just like, I don't care. I don't want to use them. Uh, same thing for the boots, although the boots are pretty cool and I have seen some cool sets with it. I personally don't really like it. And then the mark, I think it's terrible. Uh, that being said, I've seen people do cool things. It's for me. It's just I don't like it. When I think of a Titan that's a hive or a fallen theme, I my head just goes to other places, not what they got. And then for the Warlocks, uh, the helmet is pretty cool. The chest piece is really cool. The boots and the arms are pretty boring, but still usable. And the bond is probably the coolest piece from that whole set. So yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments. Uh, we're going to be looking at fucking Banshee right now. So I am currently working on a lot of videos, a lot of armor videos. I got all the armor for the seasonal activity already, and I've already made all the individual sets aside from the Warlock, but I'm, I'm literally going to do that when I'm editing videos. Same thing for the Witcher armor. I already have the Witcher armor. It's already, I've already have, I already have all the videos that I'm gonna be editing. I'm just working on the Warlock example sets, but the Titans and Hunters are already done. And yeah, just a lot of armor this season, including the Crowed armor, since I still don't have the chest piece for the Warlocks. All right, so if you guys don't know, Banshee has changed. You can start focusing stuff. I like this. I definitely don't want to talk shit about it because I'm happy we have this, but I wish we had it for more foundries. Like Hake's cool, Soros is cool, but I would have liked more more foundries just because a lot of these I already have or are, are red border weapons. Like specifically, uh, Syncopation is a red border weapon. The uh, Pelimera is a red border weapon. Same thing with the Ragnahild. So I just kind of wish we had more foundry weapons, but I think we're going to get more later. So for the weapons, it's going to be Whispering Slab with Firmly Planted and Vorpal. Um, it's not bad. Definitely not bad. It has a draw time. Hmm. Yeah, it's definitely not a bad roll, uh, especially for Whispering Slab. But at the same time, I mean, ugh, this is rough because it not only is are you getting Vorpal weapon, which gives you, what is it, 15 or 20 percent? I don't remember what, what it is, but you're also already getting a buff because this is a kinetic weapon, which means you're getting uh, more damage so if you like bows i definitely would recommend this just make sure you're shit you're shooting your shot when you're crouched uh iota draconis feeding frenzy and cornered i don't really like this role uh, range finder that's pretty good i am watching oh, i forget his name but it's this dude who's like he's he's pretty known in the destiny 2 community now but he does a lot of fusion rifle content and I've been enjoying his content and Iota Draconis. The only reason I like this is because it has a slow, like almost a silent uh, startup charge up. So that's why I want it, but not these um, cornered. No. And then feeding frenzy. No. 
Uh, dire Promise, Triple Tap, and Range Finder? If this was anything else other than Range Finder, I probably would say get it. Man, if this was like anything else, like a damage perk, I would probably say get it just because range t triple tap, especially for PvP, if you're shooting your shots, you that means you're reloading less. Oh, that would have been nice. Uh, Cold Denial, Zen Moment, or is it Zen Moment that was that? I don't remember. Zen Moment, yeah, Zen Moment and Multi Kill Clip. Um, I don't know, man. I'd say pick it up just because this is a high impact, which means it's going to hit like a fucking truck, but it's up to you really. And then bump in the night with Trek and module and frenzy, not a fan of frenzy just as a perk in general. Um, I'm weird like that. I just don't think it's viable for me, but if you don't have it, definitely pick it up because this is a red border weapon. So if you are interested, definitely do that. But let me know what you guys are going to be picking up from Banshee. As for Zuri, he's in Watcher's Grave on Nessus, currently selling the Season of the Worthy Seasonal Armor set, which is pretty interesting. Not the ornaments, the Seasonal Activity Armor. So I actually have to go to Collection because I don't remember the Titans or the Warlocks quite that like that. <laughs> to be fair, I don't even remember the, the Hunters like a lot of it. So let me see real quick. No. Damn, it was like the third season, bro. Wow, that's crazy. So Hunters, I think the helmet is pretty cool. I think the arms are definitely cool if you want to go for a bulky soldier look. Same thing for the boots, uh, bulky look for a soldier. Chest piece definitely can do that as well. And I think the cloak is probably the most unique aspect of this whole thing. For Titans, I'm going to be real with you. The helmet, I'm not the biggest fan of. I, the arms, I'm not the biggest fan of. I think the chest piece and the boots are probably the best pieces from this. And the mark, I don't really care. Let's see the Warlocks. Warlocks helmet is the dopest piece. I, I, you should definitely get the helmet for the Warlocks. Uh, the arms are boring. The chest piece is okay. The boots are pretty cool. And then the bond, if I remember correctly, doesn't change color. So that is pretty much it. I definitely would recommend some of the pieces that I recommended. As for the armor, I'll have it up right now. So that way you guys are aware of what is up. So if you guys are interested to buy some of these, I personally think this is like beginner armor set, or if you're trying to uh, bulk up your collections, then definitely get it but if you're trying to get like end game armor i definitely would recommend just doing like dungeons just because specifically master dungeons just because you get artifice armor and that's the best armor in the game for sure uh, as for weapons we're gonna be looking at death adder with hit fire grip and dragonfly uh, blood feud with dynamic straight reduction and elemental capacitor Ikelos hand cannon with rail rounded and frenzy this is a red border weapon so if you are interested definitely pick this is it is it yeah, it is. Uh, Truth Teller, Disorienting Grenades, Auto Loading Holster, and Multi Kill Clip. Man, if that Multi Kill Clip was something else, I'd say pick this up. It still has Disorienting Grenades, so it is worth a pickup, but Multi Kill Clip definitely feels like useless. Uh, Path of Least resist Resistance, Subsistence, and Focused Fury. This is a red border weapon as well, so if you are interested, definitely pick it up. Seventh Seraph Saw, Send Moment, and Elemental Capacitor. And then Blast 2 with Threat Detector and Auto Loading. So. That's pretty much it for the weapons. I'm not really interested in any of them, if I'm being quite honest. For the Hawk Moon roll, it's going to be Moving Target. And then for the other stuff, it's going to be Prometheus, Prometheus Lens, the originator of the light show or the whatever it was called back in uh, Chris of Osiris. Definitely pick it up. Um, I, I think it's worth having. And if you don't have it, you might as well have it because you might never know. Bungie might buff it again and it might be just broken. We have Wormhust Crown, which I'm not the biggest fan of the rolls. Uh, mobility really high is really good considering you want a lot of dodge. But that resilience is too low and then recovery honestly doesn't really matter on Wormhust just because once you dodge, you get your recovery back up, if I remember correctly. Titans, Aeon Swifts, I'm just gonna ignore this one. The rolls are good though, like, definitely what you like i would probably bump up that resilience to a plus 10 so that way i can have a 23 20 20 a 25 a 22 and then a fifth no 16 once i masterwork this crown of tempest 11 mobility nah. I'd, I'd say ignore this one just be, i mean if you don't have it might as well pick it up but i like it when there's at least a 10 in resilience and recovery just because you really don't need 11 mobility on a warlock so let me see what I'm going to get right now. I'm on my hunter, I think, right? Rain in, rain in flux. I'm not even going to look at that because it's, I don't care. And I have a lot of them already. So let's actually just go to Everest. 
So for Eververse, <clears throat> again, it's going to be Golden Age Wine. Not the biggest fan of this shader. Sometimes it looks cool, sometimes it doesn't. On this set, it doesn't look that bad. For prin oh, pri Princely Presence. Man, this shit's too bright. Um, but it is cool looking. I, I'm just not the biggest fan of these type of shaders where it's like visually offensive because I just feel like you look like a douchebag. Uh, box of tricks. Uh, Cosmos shell. And then lion tamer. <clears throat> And then for the stuff at the bottom, we have Flowing Phoenix, which literally is just a shader difference with the only difference being up here is it gives you the face of a Phoenix. We have Roaring Primeval, which looks really cool, like genuinely looks really cool. Assembly Stinger. Yeah. We have Scavenged Shell, which looks super extra. Slap fight. And then nothing to see here. So the transmit effects is going to be ossified entrance. Stasis entrance. <clears throat> Siva emergence. Nectar Dynamo. Never been a big fan of this shader. It's the red, blue, and purple. Just don't think it's a good combo. Uh, Butter Bark. It's the yellow. Never been a big fan of the yellow. We have Neopop Wave. I like this shader a lot. I just never really use it. Um, I don't know why. Just never, never find a, a time where I'm like, this looks great. Because this does not look great in my opinion. And then uh, Chalco's Finery. Which... This actually looks pretty cool. I'm not gonna lie. So that's pretty much it. Let me know what you guys are gonna be doing. Remember that the seasonal challenges are up. So make sure to check out the weekly videos because I do the seasonal challenges plus Eververse plus 801. So if you guys are interested to see what 801 has before the last call videos, definitely check out those videos. I will be fucking busy guys i'm not even kidding when i tell you guys that it's 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 super okay so let me let me show you guys real quick the video is over so if you guys want to leave you guys can leave but <coughs> i'm gonna be showing you guys what i'm gonna be working on so far so i am gonna be working on the witcher armor because i got it got it for everyone i'm gonna be working on the ahamkara set when i get it that's gonna be like probably in two weeks maybe because i think i'm level three 30 right now let me see real quick yeah level 30 about to hit 32 so once i get all that armor we're gonna do the whole spiel of the review the shaders plus the example sets which again i am currently working on the examples this is one of the example sets actually it's for the uh seasonal armor i'm going for like a cowboy indian look uh, i'll explain it further in that video but we, like I said, I've got all the armor for the seasonal activity. So this video is already, I've already done the review and the shader. I'm currently working on that right now. Um, the other thing is the dungeon armor. I already have the review and the shader video. I'm currently working on the hunters uh, example set. So that way I can have it out probably tomorrow, Monday, and then start doing the other armor sets. Speaking of which the Crota armor is also something we're going to be working on because unfortunately I still don't have this stupid chess piece, bro. Like I ran this dungeon or this raid a lot and it still hasn't dropped for me. So, and my raids not doing raids right now or my clan's not doing raids right now. So it's going to be really rough. Not only that, this Tuesday, Iron Banner is coming up and the Iron Pledge armor set from Curse of Osiris and the, and, yeah, and the Warmind set are going to be released as well. So we're going to have to do armor set videos for that as well. So overall, this this uh this season is just packed with armor videos that I'm gonna be doing. Uh, don't worry, I'm still gonna be doing exotic videos because we are still missing Actium War Rig, Six Coyote, Orpheus Rig, and now um, oh, Karnstein Grips. I think it was that the person asked for. Um, if I'm even saying the correct name, where are you? 
It was either Winter's Guile or Constantine Armlets. Either way, we're probably going to do both of these eventually. Um, we're only missing a few exotics now. But yeah, I'm going to be doing a bunch of stuff. Um, tell your friends. I'd like this channel to grow a lot more just because uh, that's what everyone really wants when they have a channel. So let me know what you guys think. I appreciate you guys. Be safe. I will see you guys later.